generation is lacking. And that's normal because this team that hasn't been together for a very long time. How much time do you think you need to build a cohesive unit going into Abidjan in general? No, yeah, the, the answer is you, you never know, you know, because one performance can be different to the next. You know, for one performance, if I, if I look at today, we, I think it shows the level, the level of the, this competition, because we're up against a big, strong side. Um, first half, um, yes, we could have done better first half, I think maybe in, in our possession, and, and I think probably once we got into the final third, we could have been a little bit more clinical. But sometimes you have to wait for the game to open out a little bit to be able to use them spaces. So for me, the, the, it's, it's always about the ending. The ending is it that we won the game. I think in the end we could have won it more comfortably with more goals. So we continue to work. At international football, you don't have the players for very long and the squad can change from one game to the next. So, but you do the best you can in the period of time that you have. Thank you. Just um, right behind you, one here. Yeah, my name is Odell Four from Ashton. Um, Coach, my question has to do with um, the role being assigned to Inaki Williams. Um, looking at the role he has been assigned to in the Black Stars. He has played a couple of matches, about six of them for the Black Stars, um, with no goal. Comparing his performance at the Black Stars to that of Atletico Bilbao, some of us think that he's being played out of position. Um, do you agree or do you disagree? If yes, why? And if no, why? No, to, to be perfectly honest with you, it's not, it's not a question of agreeing or disagreeing. You know, this is... This is a player that plays in a top league, um, can play uh, in the wide area, but predominantly, uh, Inyaki is a, is a number nine. He's a centre forward. This is where he's played the large majority of his career. So for me, it's not a question. It's he's here because he wants to be here. He is uh, a top player. He's found it difficult to get the goals here, and sometimes, sometimes it might take a very lucky goal for him to score that gets him off the mark and things change but with with number nines it's not always about scoring goals it's about what they're prepared to give the team and yes he's still waiting for that goal and and we do we do we'd like to think that we have you know good options and a, a good enough squad and good options in the forward areas so uh, i'm quite sure at some stage it will come for him Okay, so firstly, firstly and foremost, the, the, um, so my, my experiences so far is that um, the level of African football has increased. Um, and if I'm not mistaken, I think we actually finished top of our group. So I think that's something to be uh, very proud of. Um, it's always about development. You know, I think when you look at the, the squad that we had, I mean, even when, when I think when I came in, I think we'd had... 10 new players uh, that had been introduced to the squad over the last year. So it's always a, a process. But I think we, we shouldn't take away from the fact that we also had some big players missing today. You know, this is something that's forgotten about. And also I think we mustn't take away the fact that we, we actually finished top of our group in, in, I think, a tough group. And I think certainly the, the two teams that, that finished below us I think a good level sides, and um, you know, I think I think we the players certainly have to be applauded for that. Guys, the next set of questions is going to be for Captain um, 